Good morning. What's growing on, guys? Welcome to the garden, or at uh, this point, I guess I should probably say jungle. And uh, welcome to Funky Tree Fridays. But uh, anyway, uh, yesterday I uh, uh, woke up to a comment on one of my videos. Uh, uh, basically, when I first got this tree, which is Boswellia amaro, and today's topic is uh, uh, trees from the island of Socotra. So anyway, he was concerned about this being illegal material and all that. So anyway, I'll uh, copy and paste his comment into the description and you can read it yourself. And um, well, I got some opinions on that and we'll talk about that. Okay, yeah, about his comment. For one, I think people need to quit being so critical and uh, yeah, I realize that uh, Socotra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and plants, you can't take plants from there, it's illegal, which, yeah, that's fine with me. Um, none of my plants were propagated from illegally gathered materials, so um, uh, the growers actually obtained the material from other people who collected the um, material from Socotra years before um they became protected so um and i think it's doing more of a service or is part of the solution to propagate these plants um so they are carried on so you know and that's not part of the problem i think that's the best way that we can all d is actually get our fingers in the dirt and grow these plants that's part of the solution so um if people on Socotra would actually start propagating these and maybe start selling the seeds, um, that could help the solution too, or be part of the solution. So uh, being part of the problem is uh, being a whiny people that complain about everything that somebody does. You know, at least I'm doing my part to propagate. It was mainly about this tree here. So uh, the um, Amiro, Boswellia Amiro. But uh, yeah, I'm doing my part. Uh, what are you doing? Instead of complaining about and worrying about me having illegal material, what are you doing to help the solution? You know, I mean, that's all I got to say about it. Um, uh, a lot of people need to just eat some fruit and relax. I mean, what I'm doing isn't illegal, bud. <laughs> so anyway, let's bust up into some of these trees. Okay, the first tree up here is the... Uh, Dragon's Blood, Socotran Dragon's Blood tree, um, which does exude a resin that is called Dragon's Blood. Um, there are several trees that um, exude a resin called Dragon's Blood. One is a, actually not related to this at all. This is a Dracinia cinnabari, and uh, there's another one too, the Canary Island Dragon tree, I think it is, um, a Dracinia draco. But this here is a cinnabari, uh, native to Socotra. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty critically and getting critically endangered. Um, a lot of the trees are blowing over because they have shallow root systems and such um, due to all the storms and stuff that are hitting um, Socotra and all that. So um, that's really important we propagate stuff like this because uh, not only are they rare, but they're also very expensive. This tree is worth a lot of money. It's one of my pride and joys right here. So. Um, yeah, if you can find seed, good luck. Or if you can find an actual seedling or a plant, good luck. Um, this one here cost me $40 for a little seedling, seedling uh, 45 I think, actually. So um, had I realized they were going to become so hard to come by, I would have got more. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's a pretty neat tree. Some of you may remember me repotting that into this container. It's in a uh, terracotta pot. So... A uh, fun tree to grow. Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. It's it's really pretty carefree tree. So, but uh, wonderful. I'll throw up some pics of mature specimens from Socotra. Um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful species. Um, they do get pretty good size. So, you know, if you're looking for them, I've seen seed available, but it goes really fast. Um, seedlings even quicker. So. I recommend getting a seedling if you can. Um, out of Africa, you used to have them. I don't think they carry them anymore because they're getting out of that kind of stuff. So, 
Anyway, we're going to move on to another tree here. Okay, so this one here is my Boswellia nana, the only dwarf species of frankincense. And it too is obviously from the islands of, of Socotra. So, um, uh, easy species to grow. Um, yeah, one of the easiest ones. Uh, and it can handle a small pot. Bonsai culture, great uh, for bonsai. Um, they are pretty spendy. If you can find them or seed to them, usually many a tree has seeds available and they do not go cheap. They're about 20 bucks a seed. So for uh, 10 seeds, that's quite a bit of money. So, and they usually auction them off. So, but I got this tree, they, I was lucky enough to uh, get this tree from them. I had another one, but I sold it. Um, and I was offered a pretty good penny for the tree, so. But anyway, that is Boswellia nana, which is uh, just coming out of shock from being repotted. So, also with this tree, this tree has bloomed for me also. So um, sometimes I do regret getting rid of the other tree that I had, but uh, you know, I, it is what it is. So I needed the money, and so I got rid of it. But uh, Anyway, yeah, this has bloomed for me, and uh, it has little pinkish white flowers all over it uh, when it blooms uh, in the springtime. And I think I can dig up a pick of that. I think I have some pictures available. Um, I took some pics. Uh, uh, they're real tiny flowers, but I'll see if I can uh, throw some pictures of this up in here. So, um, yeah, fun tree to grow. Fun tree to grow. Um, and like I said, it's very easy, too. So, get you close up in here. Yeah, it's about time for this guy to go dormant. It actually is dormant, so we kind of cut down on the feed with this tree. So, all right, we're going to move on to another tree here. Okay, this tree here is Boswellia elongata, also obviously from Socotra. Everything in this video is Socotra. Figured I haven't done an update in this tree in a while, so here it is. And we have a little dragon in a tree. Check him out. Anyway, um, yeah, this is one of the bigger trees from Socotra. And uh, uh, the resin smells absolutely wonderful from this tree when you burn it. Um, like I said, yeah, it's a pretty large tree. I have one that's also 10 foot tall, and I uh, recently pruned this and it started branching. So we have the branching here, as you can see. Now these grow readily from cuttings, although I didn't have much luck this year um, uh, from cuttings, so uh, maybe next year, because um, they have to have a uh, pretty even um, temperatures in order to root so it's pretty hard to root them without that so anyway I've been growing this one this from seed uh, for a couple years now almost three and you can see the structure of the leaves my big one is even more glorious than this so I'll give you a look at the root stock down here also brought this up to weed the pot so this will be due for a repot in spring so there's the tag, Boswellia elongata. And I'll back up here so you can see the whole tree. Uh, another one of my favorite trees also. So anyway, that is Boswellia elongata. Now these trees actually do, um, the bark will split and it'll exude resin all on its own. So, and we'll take a look at my other tree here. Yeah, this poor guy is a little bit in shock still from being, uh, I added more potting media to the uh, container. So, but that's 10 foot tall. There's a root stock on that. And uh, I've been growing this one for almost five years, or about five years. So. 
righty, let's move on to another tree. Okay, here is Boswellia socotrana. No need to tell you that's from Socotra because it's in right in the name. But uh, I recently pruned this back because it was getting really tall. I removed the stake from it, but uh, anyway, yeah, um, I probably will do further pruning next year and take some cuttings off this tree and get them started because um, I'm going to invest in a heat mat. I'm going to have to in order to get these guys propagated. So I'm probably going to take this right here right off and uh, root that and maybe a, that branch there too. We'll see. Anyway, but uh, yeah. I won't spend too long on this tree because I did it in, I think, uh, one of the last videos for Funky Tree Fridays, but uh, it's an update. I just watered these guys this morning, so so even though they're going into dormancy, you still got to water them a little bit. So anyway, that is Boswellia socotrana. Okay, this one here we've affectionately called the slingshot. <laughs> Um, I pruned this a long while back and uh, yeah, it sprouted two new branches. So we're probably going to bring those back down. Um, this is a wild tree. Um, this is uh, Boswellia dioscoridus uh, from Socotra also. Um, one of the beautiful ones. Um, this is a blue form. You can check out the leaves on this guy. They start out this beautiful bronze color. and then end up this uh, neat looking bluish green. So anyway, yeah, it's getting ready to go dormant also. Um, we'll probably prune that back in the spring as well. This one is from a cutting. I brought this up basically to uh, weed the pot, give it some feed and water. Uh, this time of year, I basically just give them uh, kelp extract and that's it. It's finally starting to branch out. I'll probably take it back down, maybe even a little shorter and repot it. We'll see. I don't know what um, will come about of this tree. So, But anyway, that is Boswellia dioscoridus. I might try and uh, hunt up some uh, pics of uh, full-size trees offline and throw them in here show you what mature specimens look like so all right we'll move on to the last tree okay last but not least this is uh, Boswellia Amiro and uh, one of the more beautiful trees and this one gets a real funky shape to it man alive um, yeah this is uh, the crown jewel of my frankincense pretty much um, I, I love this tree so, and it's got some nice branching coming along on it. Yeah, they grow pretty wild. So anyway, yeah, this is doing real good. Um, for me, like I've said in other videos, this is a winter grower for me. So I'll give it a spin around for you guys. And these two also start out with a bronze color on the leaves. Pretty easy to grow this one. Pretty rare to, and hard to find. So I'm real happy about that branching. We're just not going to do anything to this tree but to let it grow. No pruning, no nothing. Uh, maybe later on down the road, uh, we'll do clip and grow and then take some cuttings because uh, Yeah, this one cost me a little bit of money here, so I'm not gonna really muck about and prune it or anything so But anyway, that's Boswellia Miro. It has pink flowers or red pink or red flowers Easy another pretty easy one to grow too. That's if you can find them So and this is about a nine ten year old seedling or a sapling so, alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up. Love and peace. Keep it growing. We'll see you on the flip side. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to see more of my crazy plants. And uh, you folks have an awesome day. Bye-bye now.